Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Boss Coin YouTube channel. I'm Vosk and today we're gonna to be talking about should you even mine cryptocurrency here in 2020 or is it even worth it to mine crypto anymore? Well, I'm gonna just go ahead and spoil this and you know run this video with the preface of like, yes, yes, you should mine cryptocurrency for numerous reasons. But today's video is gonna be focused all around just the basic profitability mainly from the point of view of a residential miner. So basically like anyone just mining crypto out of their house with common gear or potentially specialized gear. And we're also gonna take a quick examination of industrial based mining and electric rates around that and kind of what their mining profitability is like. We're gonna talk about Bitcoin mining, but the, and Bitcoin mining is relatively industrialized, which we've talked about here on the channel before. But we're gonna have a higher focus on CPU mining as well as GPU mining and uh, kind of up and coming new ASIC miners that have a very high projected profitability and what to look out for with that. Also, if you watched our last video, I touched on how I was gonna go pick up this project bike. Well, I did. And I actually got it running today. So, uh, you know, there's a couple of things involved with it, but the main thing is it honestly just needed a new battery. So uh, I think the carbs need to be clean and stuff like that. But anyway, here is it, here it is running and that's kind of cool and exciting. Also, 10 seconds of tails, our beautiful Shiba Inu, our Doge. Check her out, pretty cool, huh? Let's run the Boss Coin intro and jump into mining profitability. If you've got a gaming computer, if you have a workstation computer, if you just happen to have a nice computer, it's probably got a graphics card in it. And modern graphics cards are pretty freaking powerful and just very cool devices. The king of mining as well as graphic cards right now is gonna be the RTX 2080 Ti. And you'll quickly see in this list, basically the newer and more expensive a graphics card is, the higher it will be in this list. So we had things like the 1080 Ti, which was the previous best graphics card like ever, and also for mining, at least from like a retail, you know, normal consumer point of view as far as graphics cards go. But anyway, you'll see that one's kind of an outlier and still hanging out up here with the 2017 tag and still doing pretty well and pretty profitable. The 1080 and 1070s are also great graphics cards and they are actually a little bit higher on this list as well. But basically, it's still profitable to GPU mine. And whatever corn you're mining, you know, you get relative mining profitability that you see in this list. But the point is, is that, you know, I wouldn't say it's like, oh, you should get a ton of graphics cards and mine with them and you're going to make a killing. It's more like, oh, you're going to make a banging game in PC with some really good specs in it. You should mine with it and eventually you'll break even on your hardware. So this is with a 10 cent electric cost. You would still make about a dollar a day after you pay your electric bill GPU mining with it. Granted, this is like nearly a thousand dollar graphics card. But we stepped down the list, we got it like, well, this so originally sold for $700 and it's making 70 cents a day. And you may like laugh at those numbers, but making more money than you're spending, that's always interesting to me, especially if I've got the gear for, you know, XYZ reason. We got the 1080 Ti over here making 50 cents after you pay your electric bill. I mean, you get these for all day, $500 or less on eBay. And the takeaway here is that like, you're gonna make more money than you spend on electric, so why wouldn't you? If you're thinking about getting into mining in any form or fashion, I really recommend trying out Mining with Mining Rig Rentals, today's video sponsor. So basically, they have a great site, and what is really interesting about it is you can pay with Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, and Dash. And once you basically uh, load your account in their system, you'll be able to navigate to whatever mining algorithm you want on their site and say like, oh, you know, you're thinking about building a GPU mining rig to mine Ravencoin on their new Kapow mining algorithm, which is GPU focused. So you could click on this and you could grab, you know, any of these mining rigs and you could rent it and see what kind of mining profitability you really get poolside. Like, you know, is it worth it to spend a couple grand potentially building a mining rig for this? Well, like this could give you really good insight on that. We have a referral code in the video description below if you want to sign up and check it out and use their site. Also, if you do decide to, please use our link because one, that we can see if you guys are even interested in this stuff and also anything like that also helps the channel long term. So I appreciate y'all. Now let's talk about CPU mining. One of the best CPU use for mining right now that is a reasonable price makes a whopping $21 a month projected here but I think these numbers are a little bit low once again we've got a situation where you're likely to experience higher mining profitability than the calculator shows and also if you again if you're building a gaming PC 
and you put a nice CPU in it, why not put it to work when you're sleeping or whatever else, or maybe this is just a hobby and like making a ton of money every day isn't your massive end goal here. We've talked a lot about the Ryzen 7 1700. We have one and it has just been a phenomenal CPU really just in general, but especially for mining over the years. Originally, it was making $3 a day when crypto was still crazy, and today it's projected to make, per this site, $6. However, ours almost always makes 50 cents a day, which is about $15 a month, and you know, rounding up on the electric bill, definitely clearing 10 bucks a month. And you're like, dude, $10 a month, like you think I care about this. This is eBay. This is a site that anyone can access and buy things from these are sold items that means they sold for these prices you could get a ryzen 7 1700 used right here for basically 140 dollars here's another one that sold for 153 dollars here is another one that sold for 162 dollars here's one that sold for 180 dollars here's one that sold for almost 140 the takeaway here is that if you're making 10 bucks a month on a really a great cpu and you only pay 140 bucks for it, you will pay it off in a little bit over a year. Like, it's free. If that does not get you excited in any form or fashion, to be honest, you either got too much money or plenty of money to where you feel nice and comfortable, or you're just lazy. I don't know how it like, couldn't be exciting to you. Like, I can use nice equipment in a computer to do anything and eventually have it pay for itself. Uh, yeah, yeah, that sounds great. Yes, sign me up. The topic of ASIC mining application specific integrated circuit miner mining continues to come up. Okay, we have the Z15 on the horizon. It hasn't come out yet. They're going to make a bunch of these. These are not going to be this profitable. That's kind of the bullshit or <laughs> the BS uh, scam that when it comes to just crypto mining and, and ASIC miners, especially mainly really, and how all that is kind of. Um, correlating there right now um, a lot of ethereum miners are falling off like the e3 they're having issues mining ethereum basically this is an older ethereum asic miner that the memory is low and it's having issues with the dax file that's continues to grow i'm not trying to go all in, in detail in today's video but basically like they're, they're having issues so they've made the new inno silicon a10 pro eth miner the big difference and takeaway here is that they're not using four gigabyte memory chips they're using five gigabyte memory chips which will significantly prolong the life of this miner a big takeaway from this is that ethereum's price has been doing pretty well consistently and this is really what ASIC mining and GPU mining revolve around because Ethereum is ASIC mined as well as GPU mined. And when this coin kind of gets taken off the table from mining, if something doesn't fill that pretty big gap, we're gonna have an issue there from just a daily mining profitability point of view. Like there's tons of gear out there. There have been new, countless farms. Well, that's not true. You could definitely count them. But there's been a lot of mining farms built entirely around Ethereum mining. So if that's taken away, because if you don't know, Ethereum is planning to move to proof of stake sometime over the next couple of years, basically. Uh, you know, if something doesn't fill that gap, where's all this gear going to go? Because it's it's here. It's out here. People aren't going to want to just be like, all right, well, that was cool. That was fun. Let me pack this up and we'll go ahead and part it out on ebay or something like like they want to put these cards on something so that'll be interesting to see what happens we just talked about the hummer miner mars h1 yesterday but let's talk about it briefly again basically this thing's projected to be super profitable a lot of people are talking about it and the fact of the matter is is that it's not going to be this profitable they're going to make a ton of them they're going to make a lot of money if you buy it you're unlikely to make a ton of money unless they for some reason don't make a ton of them which they always seem to do or handshake price goes crazy but hey you know it's up to you i think this is going to be like a ten dollar a day miner for an unknown amount of time really there ultimately guys mining is not like in its golden era right now there may be another golden era and golden age of cryptocurrency mining especially when it comes to say cpu and gpu mining that's gonna really be tied to a cryptocurrency like a very big cryptocurrency bull run 
but day in, day out, mining is still profitable. And the big takeaway on that is that it's very profitable if you have a cheaper electric rate. Everything we've talked about today so far has been based around a 10 cent per kilowatt hour electric rate. Here's what it looks like with five cents, which is like the average high end of a crypto mining farms, you know, industrial electric rate here. So you've got the latest and latest and greatest Bitcoin ASIC miner, right? And this thing's supposed to profit you know, over $11 a day. That's pretty good. Like, that's pretty good, uh, depending on what you get this at and all that stuff. But, you know, honestly, like, the Bitcoin mining is a big deal. It's not going away. And a lot of people are very bullish on the long term, you know, performance of Bitcoin. We are as well. So if you have the latest and greatest Bitcoin miner, this is hardware that's likely to be profitable and relevant for a while because it's recently become more effective and more efficient. So the big takeaway on, you know, is it even worth it to mine cryptocurrency? Like if you got a great electric rate, absolutely. If you got gear already hanging around, absolutely. If you want to say build a gaming computer and then utilize those components for mining in that computer's downtime, absolutely. What should you spend thousands and thousands of dollars building GPU and CPU mining rigs and even ASIC mining rigs right now, especially if you don't have an awesome electric rate, even if it's just okay, you know, I don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, not that I recommend anything because that's financial advice, but this is just kind of speaking from my experience, analyzing the numbers and just kind of what we see day in, day out. I mean, I'm not building rig over rig over rig over rig right now, but I wouldn't be afraid to build a small mining rig from like a hobby point of view or an experimental point of view or just you enjoy a point of view or you want to support a specific coin and network point of view or if you want to seamlessly acquire cryptocurrency, basically trading out your electric electric for cryptocurrency point of view. I just keep adding point of view to everything. Uh, you know, there's a lot of avenues you could take to get to this destination here. Ultimately, guys, we love mining. We love proof of work and we think that it adds true real world value to cryptocurrency but you know that's up to you to decide to see if you kind of agree with that and you can find that same value in it and you want to participate in any form or fashion above all the biggest thing that you should participate in is subscribing to the Voscoin youtube channel hitting the thumbs up and leaving a comment on the video let me know your thoughts on crypto mining right now i'll see you all on the next one